This is a what ticks me off episode where I complain about something on the internet in an unhealthy manner instead of talking to friends or a professional psychologist. For this episode, let me begin by saying I have never desired to buy a new car or truck. I'm satisfied as long as I can function and make it to work. As an example, my most recent new car, a 1999 Toyota Avalon, has a solid 212,000 miles of engine experience. It is a picture of luxury and utilitarianism. By that I mean just utilitarianism or it gets me from point A to point B. Most of the time. With two amazing cup holders that hold some cups. As a bonus, it currently has a handicapped hat, so this baby has advanced parking capabilities if exercised. Of course, I'm joking, I'll be updating the tag in the near future as the previous owner was handicapped. I also have a Chevy Silverado with 260,000 miles of solid road experience, which I'm grateful to have, as having the ability to be a two car owner, I feel lucky. If you can't tell by the cars I own, let me just say, I don't give a flying crap what the heck I drive as long as it works. New cars, pff, waste of money. Fancy cars, I'd rather waste my money on a boatload of chicken nuggets. Typically, I dump my money in things, you know, like beekeeping equipment, gardening, or investing in Bitcoin stocks. Maybe that'll help me get rich and retire early. That's my real goal here. I'm not gonna let a new car stop me from making it to early retirement. The power of cheapness, compound interest, and Dave Ramsey compels me to ignore the possibility of buying a new car. However, the other day Ford unveiled the new Ford Bronco. And for the first time in my entire life, I thought I might want to buy a new car. Off the lot. This is no feat. As explained earlier, I've never had the desire to own a new car. Looks wise, Ford just nailed it. You, can't even, you can even get it with all sorts of cool accessories like 35 inch tires, Lockers, a 4.7 ratio final drive. It's in something called the Sasquatch package. From the unveiling, I thought they warranted enough of what I want to purchase the item, unsoiled by a previous owner. Then I saw you couldn't really get the manual with the 2.6. You know what? That's okay. I like four cylinder motors. Those EcoBoost turbos are kind of cool. I can live with it. I don't have to have the V6 for the manual. Maybe in the future. But then on the internet, there was the final straw. Looking at the internet. What? What? Huh? My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Like eating 20 of those Harry Potter jelly beans, my mouth is filled with an unexpected and unpleasant taste. Unfortunately, Ford's manual transmission is a joke. They don't want you to buy it or at least have it set up like they have no idea what a manual transmission purchaser would want. I mean, the best off-roading package that could go with the manual is gonna be the Sasquatch packs. I know for certain if you're a manual and you're going hardcore, you're gonna wanna have lockers and you're gonna wanna put 35 inch tires under there eventually or more. This is pretty much the meat and bones. The Sasquatch package is it. I mean, what are you doing for it? Do you even wanna sell the manual? What are you doing? Stop it, get some help. The people that purchase the manual want the most off-road capable features. These people would probably select the Bronco in the base state and add the Sasquatch package. As obviously, the manual always has trumped the automatic in the hands of an experienced driver and it just connects you to the vehicle and makes it more fun. Maybe more challenging sometimes, but more fun. And this isn't just my speculations, it's also apparent scrolling through the internet that people intended to get this set up, but were misled by Ford. Is this false advertisement? Let's consider the ad. Your American brand can say that. And the two-door and four-door have an available best-in-class maximum ground clearance for when you're taking on the wild. Bronco rewrites the record books with an available best-in-class maximum breakover angle, departure angle, and crawl ratio, and available 35-inch tires on every series right out of the f And with first-to-market available 10-speed automatic transmission or 7-speed manual, you can keep all that horsepower and torque in its power band. 
Yep, pretty much twisting up the facts at least. Ford lied. You can't get the best in class ground clearance without the 35 inch tires. You can't have the super low crawl ratio without the manual. So you can't truly beat Jeep in their, you know, comparable st statistics without two or more Broncos. Dang, maybe I should just get a Jeep. So Ford is pretty much full of crap and laying their numbers out there in an unclear, improper view, which I can't blame them. I mean, all car manufacturers and big companies lie anyway or stretch the truth. Well, also, it, if you read the fine print, you can't find this information even if you look on their website, but I mean, uh, and, and also they have this thing where you're putting $100 down, you don't even know you can't get a Sasquatch patch good with a manual, uh, unless you looked at Twitter, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. As such, it appears that Ford needs some public outcry so that they know they messed up. And the description of this video is the Twitter account for Ford and the person who finally cleared up the fact that you couldn't get the Sasquatch package with a manual. Please tweet at Ford, or the individual, I want a manual Bronco with a Sasquatch package, please fix your error. Maybe we can get them to change this. I only have uh, 17, uh, wait, 20 subs, but I have confidence in my subscribers. Why else would I start a YouTube channel but to fix the crazy mistakes of stupid car companies? Uh, I mean, I don't really need a car and it, it, it's just kind of a toy thing, but uh, 